Hello again and welcome to another edition of The Real Ale Guide. Very special um, show today. I have been um, over to my local brewer, um, the Brew Beer. It's literally um, not even two miles away from my home. I could have walked it, but I went over to the brewery. It's Vale of Glamorgan Brewery. Look at that. That's the light-headed, the beer. It's 4% in the volume. We'll, we'll, get it, we'll get it open in a minute. We'll have a bit of a drink. But um, I just like to show you this. I'm just going to grab the camera and show you this in a minute because I've, I've been over to the brewery. Um, I met up with them. They give me a fine selection of the ales to um, to try and review. And look at this beautiful Vale of Glamorgan, traditionally Welsh pint glass. I don't know if you can quite see that. Hold this still. There we go. It's a nice pint glass. And um, the owner, um, very nice chap, um, his name is Ian Teagle, there's his business card he gave me, and Dave Walbert, I believe. Okay, there's the director, the owner of the company, so I'm just going to grab the camera quickly. Um, there's a picture of Dave himself there, that's um, Virgil Morgan's Chocks Away. Um, lovely, lovely looking beer there. And then that's the viaduct. There's a picture of a beer there, bitter than ever it's called. Um, let me try and zoom out a little bit. That's the viaduct where I live down in Porth Kerry. That's only literally a, a mile or two down the road. That one there is Panath Pier, Groggy Vog. And last but not least, you'll know this from Gavin and Stacey. Um, they normally say what's occurring, but this is wheat's occurring as a 5% um, pint. So, so they're all brewed in Wales. Let's put that back quickly. They're all brewed in Wales and the company was established in 2005. Okay, let's get this beer open. This is Vale of the Morgans, 4%, made in Wales, made in Barry, light headed. Go. The pint glass. These are all bottle conditioned ales. These are all bottle conditioned. I've chilled this one down. I've had a chat with him. He told me to chill this one down. Um, get it down to about four degrees, which I have done. I set the fridge to four degrees. <laughs> Otherwise, he told me that it will be quite cloudy. Or skunky in America, as they say, but it's not. It's it's good. It's good. It's it's mainly a frosted on the glass. It's a nice little one finger head. Oh, it's um, nice, hoppy, lovely hoppy aroma there. Mm. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Head's gone down quite quickly. Give it a wash round. Nice little bit of lacing on the beer. It's, um, let's have a little read what it says on the bottle. Tasty, well-balanced, tawny-coloured bitter with a compact malt recipe and flavoursome late hop varieties. I go with that. You got your malt, definite, nice, crisp malt taste. Mmm. Oh. Stone the Crows. That's a good beer. That is a good beer, and it's a nice hoppy finish. You've got a malt, malty, nice malty crisp taste to go on and it's quite hoppy. It's, it's a little fruity as well. It's a little, it's a little bit of fruit in it. Mmm. Look at that. I'm really, really digging into this pint. Really, really good. Um, half gone already. I haven't even started talking about the the brewery. I'm just going to give you a quick read out um, 
of a few things right there. Website. Um, they got they got all of this. If you want to have a look at this, um, be arranged on it on an internet site. Have a look. It's www.vogbrewery.co.uk. Vog meaning very little Morgan. Their telephone number is 01446 730 I'm quite... I lived in Barry all my life. Um, Gavin and Stacey was filmed, filmed here. Um, I'm quite proud of the place and I'm absolutely over the moon to be given the chance to be able to drink this in a bottle, this fabulous beer from Vela Morgan. It's really good. Um, I believe, um, I've had a chat with Ian today, I believe they're opening an internet site soon where you'll be able to order their beer um, online. So be patient, be, you know, be a bit patient with it, but I'm sure the site will be up soon where you'll be able to order some beer. Um, a little bit of history now about the, the brewery itself. Another, another chug on this beer, it's really good. Oh, that is so good. Vogue is the brain. Let me get this. My eyes are not really good these days. Vogue is the brainchild of real ill lovers Ian Teagle and Dave Walboff. I believe, sorry, Dave, I got that surname wrong. Who had long shared a dream to start a local brewery in the Vale of the Morgan. Their dream became a reality in 2005 when they took the plunge and opened the Vogue Brewery based in Barry, near Cardiff in South Wales. Their goal to provide quality cast condition ales under Vog, under the Vog Brewery name. That's the reading out the way. But this is it. It's very, very difficult to come across a brewery that solely pride themselves on cask and bottle conditioned ales. Normally, you have a brewery that they do best bitters and and different drinks. But it's very rare you've got a brewery that does their whole, this is their whole range. Chocks away, bitter than ever, groggy vog and wheat to curd, which is solely bottle conditioned. What they mean by bottle conditioned is, there's a bit of sediment in the bottom. They leave a the sediment in, it, it, it's continuously brewing in the bottle. It's giving off a better taste the whole time. So that's what that, that's what that does. And it's, a, it's an art, it's a specialist art. Because I've taken some bottle conditioned ales and they've been totally wrong. They haven't been nice at all. But this is a smashing drink. Um, another quick one. Um, I've been mentioned. This is the Gem newspaper, the Barry Gem, my local um, rag, as they call it, the local rag, the Gem. I've been mentioned on page four. Did you can see that. Simon finds fame as real ale reviewer. So if you can check the paper out, I'm not sure if it's on the website, but check it out. Have a look at that. But thanks for the little write-up from the gem. Thanks for that. And a quick shout out to Oh Glenn. Sorry, could just come to me. Glenn from American Public House Review. Um, they got an online magazine. They got thousands and thousands of people working at their magazine. They, they um, give a quick. Sh they, they basically pride themselves on real ales and, and craft beers in America. Um, Glenn writes a little article for them every month, and it's very interesting. So check that out. American Public House Review. Give it a shout. Give it a look. Should I say? Nearly finished the review. I'm going to rate this beer now. I'm going to give this. That is a fabulous light ale, cask condi bottle conditioned ale, four percent of the volume. Double check, yeah. Light headed. I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten. That's a nine out of ten from the real ale guide. Um, that's it for this review. I'm running out of time. You can why do you subscribe to my channel? If you go on um, YouTube, it's YouTube. Um, just search real ale guide and um, subscribe. Add me to your friends list. Whatever, we're reviewing one or two beers a week. Um, I'm going to go through that range, I think, shortly. Get all them sorted and done. But I Twitter is Real Ale Today. And if you want to email me, it's realaleguide at googlemail.com. But thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Um, more reviews coming in the future. Cheers. Two thumbs up.